Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform uh, determine the epsilon squared for a cross call Wallace test uh, using Excel. The formula that I'll be using comes from this article and on page 24 it can be found uh, let me check, where's page 24, here we go and here's the formula mentioned about the cross call Wallace H test and the uh, epsilon squared. Okay Let's get started. I've put my data in columns A and B. Uh, the nominal variable contains three categories and the ordinal variable ranges from 1 till 5. The first thing to do is to determine the ranks and I'll put those in column C and that can be done using the rank.average avg command. I want to rank based on the ordinal variables. The reference is the entire column B and it needs to be in ascending order. Then you can copy paste this down or you can uh, click on the lower right corner of the selected cell, double click and it will copy paste it down for you. Then we need some data per category, so I have the three categories listed. And first of all we need the number, which is count if. Mm, count if in the range of the nominal variable and the criteria simply the category. Again copy paste and that we can also add the total alt equals is a shortcut for sum and that's 54 then the average of the ranks we can use average if and then we need to first select the range that has the categories which was column a the criteria is the corresponding category over here and then we want the average of column c Again, we can copy paste this down, and then the most difficult one is we need to take the number in the categories, multiply it by open a set of parentheses, the average, minus open another set of parentheses, and then the total n, which is this one, and I need to fix that, so you can press F4 and it places dollar signs everywhere, plus 1, close these parentheses, then divide it by 2, then close the other parentheses, and then raise to the second power. You can copy paste this down again, and again we need of these the sum. Alt equals sum. Now to calculate the H statistic, there are a few different um, formulas floating around on the internet for that. I'll use uh, this one up here which states to use 12 over open parentheses the overall sample size multiplied by that same value plus 1 then close both parentheses and then multiplied by that value we just created over here and that gives us the H value we might also want to adjust it for ties, so determine for each unique rank the frequency and I'm going to be doing that in column D. So this is going to be um, is count if range C double dot C and then this rank. So we have 20 times the 10.5 and now I need to be careful. I first need to say if count if this one is equal to that one and if that count if is bigger than zero then we shouldn't be doing anything because then we already have its frequency otherwise it needs to count if and then the entire range c double dot c and the same criteria over there now we need to fix this first C2 because when I copy paste it down it should always start from the first one. Now I can copy paste this formula down, double click on the autofill handle or just use Ctrl C, Ctrl V. That takes care of step 4. Then step 5 is to cube each result and subtract it once. So is if this one equals nothing then it shouldn't be doing anything. Otherwise, it should take this value, raise it to the third, and subtract it once. 
again you can use ctrl C or double click in the lower right corner and it will copy paste down then the final adjustment in itself is uh, this formula which is a slightly adjusted version or a rearranged version of this one and we can say that open the parentheses we're going to be needing that sample size again we need to cube that result minus the result once and then we need to divide by that same part so again cubed minus itself once and then actually also minus the sum of that column we just created and that should give us the adjustment that we need so to determine then the adjusted value it's a matter of simply taking the h value the unadjusted and multiply it by this adjustment finally we now have everything we need to calculate epsilon squared I'll be using this uh, slightly rearranged version of this formula and it depends on if you want to use H or uh, the adjusted one but let's first use H H is uh, we had it up here so that's that one and then multiplied by n plus 1 so this one plus 1 divided by and scroll down again n squared minus 1 so open another set of parentheses and then we need to square it minus 1 and that should give us the value for epsilon squared I can copy paste all of this and then change simply the k value uh, the k20 to the adjusted value and we actually then get the epsilon squared based on the adjusted value it's a small bonus you can also calculate eta squared um, that one will be the h value so let's go back up minus the number of categories in this case i have three and then add one and then divide by the total sample size n minus and again then the number of categories again F2 select everything press enter paste I can also say instead of K20 which was the unadjusted I can use the adjusted version I created a small uh, user-defined function which works very basic so um, uh, it does count for if there's a missing value it will ignore it but it asks you to specify a range uh, it needs to be the specific range so don't select the entire column otherwise it might crash of the nominal variable and the ordinal if you put false after it it will actually not use the adjustment and if you put nothing or you put true at the end it will give you the version based on the adjusted uh, the same goes for eta and that's all there is to it i'll put a link to the in the description below to this file and um, that's that's all